But I have the beautiful Miss Camille here, and I want to know, like, how did you even get into this? Like, what, what inspired this? What laid this on your heart? Uh, well, I've been stepping since I was nine years old in fourth grade. So um, when I became a part of New Vision and I saw how the young ladies um, kind of gravitated towards me, I thought, you know, well, what can I do to kind of make a difference in their life? And so I started to toy around a little bit with them in the parking lot and teach them a little bit of step. And I saw how they loved it. So I just used it up as an opportunity to um, open something up, just not just in New Vision, but for the community and infuse God in it. So it was a kind of a way to trick their minds. Okay, we're going to step, yeah. but we're stepping good, for good. Jesus and we're able to pour into them. That's so sneaky. Tell, tell, everybody, <laughs> tell everybody more about what Vision Steppers is. Because to me, I hear Vision Steppers. I really feel like I should still be in it. But <laughs> I hear Vision Steppers and I hear, you know, there's a vision behind the stepping. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows what stepping is. I think they associate it with colleges. So mm -hmm. what exactly is Vision Steppers? It's a Christian-based community step team. Um, we're stepping in Jesus' name. So that's the difference from if they join in the school. They're learning scriptures. They're learning who they are in Christ. And they're able to share that with their friends and their family members. So we're using it as an outreach tool. Um, and that makes it a lot different. Good. How many girls are in the group? We started off the first registration day with 27 and it's grown since then just six weeks later to 39. 40. Wow. 40. I'm in the group. <laughs> 40. <laughs> now, on the outside looking in, people will look at something like that and they'll think, you know, why, why is that important? You know, why is it important to do step? Why is it yes. important to do this and that? Um, you know, you're mentoring and you're spending how many hours? How long does it take for you to rehearse? Um, now, it's going to be uh, six hours a week starting. Six hours a week. So six hours a week, you're spending time with these girls. You're speaking into their lives. Mm -hmm. You're coaching them through character development. You're helping them push through perseverance. At times, does it get tough working with 39 girls for six hours a week to try mm -hmm. to teach them step? Yeah, because I don't be wanting to work with my own two kids. It, it, <laughs> honestly, um, it doesn't because God has given me so much love in my heart towards them. I could work with them and occupied. So it, it's hard working with the parents. Not the children. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to need you to rub some of that on. <laughs> no, I love them. Um, and I know how hard it was for me to grow up, um, you know, out here. And it's not a lot for them to do. And, mm -hmm. it, and it's easy to get sucked into what the TV um, says you are and what your friends are doing. So I remember not having anything to do at 14 after school. And I ended up pregnant at 15. So if mm -hmm. I could be that um, person to help them to find out who they are right now and build a relationship with Christ. But through step, something that's so fun, then I want to do that. Wow. 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 I moved. I moved. Yes. Now, can you raise my children? <laughs> <laughs> she may not be able to raise your children, but I'm sure if you want your kids to be involved with yes. step, not necessarily for Camille to raise your children. Yes. Camille, what should that. they do? How should they, get, how should they ask about getting involved? Um, we have emails, so they can email us at visionsteppers at yahoo.com. And we also have a Facebook, Vision Community Steppers. We have a Twitter, um, VCS Step Team. So any of those three, they could get in touch with us. They and also have, have an age room. limit. Yes, 5 through 17, young yes. ladies only. Yes, and they're also raising funds to do their yes. work. They're trying to travel across the country for competition, and they need shoes, they need outfits, they need yes. uniforms. So if they contact you, anybody watching here wants to donate specifically to that, you can contact Camille. We need it. We need it for school buses. We need it. We have six-hour practices, so sometimes they need snacks, they're hungry, mm -hmm. um, lunch. Sometimes they come and they haven't eaten breakfast, so we need to be able to feed them also. It's mm. very important that we learn to sow into our children's lives, not only as, you know, someone who's over the lead of this ministry, but as people out there watching, you have a responsibility. God has placed this on your heart. You need to sow into these children's lives because this is why they're not getting pregnant. This is why they're not on the street selling drugs. This is why they're not out doing God knows what. They're doing something good and valuable with their time. It is very important that you sow into the lives of these children and their future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She preaching. She's I preaching. Did. <laughs>